I carry a gun daily. I carried a gun when I was with the CIA. I want to quickly talk about stance, grip, trigger control, everything that's going to make you a better shooter. My name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer. Uh, you may be somebody on Shark Tank or Fox News or the NBC Today Show. Uh, before I tell you exactly how to become a better shooter, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that ring notification. All right, so let's get down to business. Please welcome back former CIA officer Jason Hansen. Former CIA Jason Hansen. This handsome fella is Jason Hansen. Okay. This is Jason Hansen, former CIA guy. I carry concealed every single day. I live in the state of Utah, which is a free state, so I don't have to worry about anybody bothering me or harassing me, whether I'm carrying concealed or whether I'm open carrying. And often, you're going to find a gun in my front pocket. So the gun that I happen to be carrying today is a Sig Sauer P365. Great little pocket gun. Uh, pocket guns have come a long way over the years. Remember back in the day when they had the worst triggers and the worst sights, and they were for close quarters. I mean, if you were going to hit a 50-yard shot with one, you would be very, very lucky. Whereas this has great sights, 25 yards, 50 yards, whatever, much easier, you know, almost uh, as a full-size gun, easier to use, easy to manipulate. So love pocket carry. Uh, find me doing it all the time. Uh, now, when it comes to grip, pretty simple. I'm going to get a high grip here. I'm going to be high up on the tang. I'm going to wrap my fingers around it. I'm always going to keep my finger here unless I'm firing. So I want to keep it out of the trigger guard. Now it is this left hand, because I'm a right-handed shooter, that most people screw up. Most people are still doing like the, the teacup grip or whatever. That's Don't do that if you want to have good control over the firearm, if you want to be a good shooter. The best thing to do is the thumbs forward method. So what I like to say is wherever you're looking, let's say you're looking at a wall there, Point your thumb at the wall. That way your hand is going down at a 45 degree angle. I'm just going to come up here and my thumbs are going to go forward. So my shooting thumb is going to rest on top of my non-shooting thumb. That's how it's going to look. So if I'm drawing my gun coming out of the holster, boom, it's right there. I can line up my sights. So this gives you a lot of control over the gun. You got a lot of flesh on it. Move my target because of the wind. You got a lot of flesh on it. This is what you want to do. So many, many moons ago, I was training a guy. Um, by the way, we're out at our 320 acre Spy Ranch right now where we do a lot of firearms classes, rifle, pistol, etc. And this guy was shooting one-handed and he was shooting pretty darn crappy. And I said to him like, hey, if you use this grip, I promise you'll be more accurate. He kept shooting, shooting terrible. Said, no, you know, you know, my granddaddy taught me to shoot this way. I'm fine, you know, I, he didn't want to change. Hey, to each his own. Well, finally, he wouldn't listen to me for whatever reason. Finally, at the end of the day, one of my instructors convinced him to use this thumbs forward grip and he shot a heck of a lot better and he was a converted person. So use this, it works. It probably gonna feel awkward if it's the first time you ever did that or have done it, but the best shooters in the world use this, competition shooters, you know, special forces, the best shooters use this. So I would recommend it. So thumbs forward for shooting. Now, when it comes to stance, well, ideally you're gonna have your feet shoulder width apart, you know, like my left foot's going to be a little uh, little forward. But let me tell you about stance. It's nonsense. Because in the real world, and I've been in some very intense situations, when you're running, when you draw your gun or whatever, and stance is going to be nonsense. You're not going to sit there all of a sudden be like, okay, I've got to get my feet shoulder width apart. Uh, my, my left foot should be six inches in front of my right foot. Don't worry about stance. I mean, when you're on the shooting range, sure, practice a good stance. Shoulder width apart and everything. But in the real world, it ain't going to mean, you know, it's, it's not going to happen. You're going to shoot maybe... You know, you might shoot, be shooting from your knees. You may be moving and shooting slowly because you can't sprint and move and shoot. That's Hollywood stuff. So don't worry about the stance. Now, trigger control. I'm going to show you the trigger control. This is basically the million dollar thing. And since I've been shooting at the range and having fun here, my firearm is loaded. Let's get this bad boy unloaded. Put this in my back pocket. We're going to check this. All right. We got an unloaded gun now. Trigger control. This is a million dollar thing. Some people say, hey, you should put it in the crease, the first crease here, other or the pad. Figure out what works for you, but I use the pad. But here's the important thing. When I'm pulling the trigger, and I'm getting close to the camera, I hope you'll be able to see this. Notice that my finger is parallel to my body, basically. If I were shooting this way and it was in front of me, it would be, okay? So when I pull the trigger, I pull it straight back, keeping this straight and parallel the entire time. The mistake people make, and the reason a lot of shots go low into the left, if you're a righty, is they start curving your finger. So notice my finger is curved here. Notice my finger is pointing back in my chest. That's gonna cause me to jerk it and I don't want that. When I pull this, let me reset it. When I pull this, I wanna remain parallel and have a very smooth trigger pull 
all the way back. So again, if you're looking at it from this angle and see how hopefully you can see it, as I'm pulling it straight back, keeping this parallel to my body the entire time. Now, if you're shooting and st uh, shots start going hair and everything, the best thing you can do is line up your sights, meaning your front sight and your rear sight. I got my rear sight, I got my front sight. They are lined up like this. There's an equal amount of light on either side and they're lined up on the top, meaning I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this. I'm like this with my front and rear sight. When I am doing that, if for some reason I start shooting crab and it's going ever, just slow yourself down. Meaning what I like to do and what I teach a lot of my students is say, press, 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 and then they fire. Then you can reset it. Now you're saying this in your mind, press, 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 press. And then that gets you back on track. So grip is important, stance, do it if you can, but in real life, it ain't gonna happen. And then trigger control is the most important thing. This is what you wanna work on when you're dry firing. I spend 10 minutes every day dry firing. I recommend it with a safe and empty weapon. Make sure you know your backstop. I have a bulletproof panel that I put up on a wall in my office. Plus it just goes into, um, I'm in a basement anyway, so it doesn't matter. But sit there, good grip. Press, 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 press. Working on that trigger pull. You notice I cock my head a bit. I happen to be right-handed, left eye dominant. I cannot keep both eyes open. I get double vision when I do it. So a lot of people hear all these myths like, oh my gosh, if you're left eye dominant and right-handed, you'll never be able to shoot right. and You'll be terrible. Again, nonsense. If you practice, if you spend 10 minutes a day dry firing, you don't have to learn how to shoot left-handed. It's not going to affect you. It's, not, it's not, not anything to worry about. So if I'm shooting here, save an empty weapon, plus there's nobody behind this camera, so it's fine. I'm coming up as a right-handed person who is left eye dominant. I just cock my head slightly, I line up. And when I was with the intelligence business, I shot expert, we were in training. So it's not gonna hurt you. Don't worry about it. Just cock your head a little bit. You'll be fine if you're right-handed and left eye dominant like I am. All right, those are enough tips for now because I wanna get back to playing and shooting. Have a wonderful rest of the day. I'm former CIA officer Jason Hansen. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on that ring notification. I got a lot more coming your way.